And once again we have a new surprise from the James Webb Space Telescope. Another unusual galaxy that once again does not really make sense right now. A galaxy discovered completely by accident and visible in this image right here. And so, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Let's discuss this new discovery, why it's unusual, what all of this means, and also talk about why this kind of creates another problem. But first, how exactly was this discovered? As I mentioned, this was a complete accident when the researchers using James Webb were trying to investigate one of the less known galactic clusters. A group of galaxies known as CLG-1212, part of the survey known as Prime Extragalactic Areas for Reionization and Lensing Science, also known as PEARLS, or basically the program that's already discovered so many incredible discoveries from various gravitational lensing effects created by extremely dense galactic clusters. For example, the discovery of various distant stars and distant supernova. And in this case, they had a very specific focus. They were trying to understand how galaxies assemble and how they grow usually around a central active galaxy with a very powerful black hole. But while observing the cluster, they've discovered something really unusual. A tiny, barely visible spot. Or I guess more like a smudge. And this smudge turned out to be yet another UDG, Ultra Diffuse Galaxy. Now, after several years of discoveries, these are no longer mysterious and are not as uncommon. They seem to be pretty much everywhere. But something else made this galaxy particularly special. It was isolated, it basically had no partners and no neighbors, and it possessed some unique properties we're going to be discussing right now. So first of all, this galaxy is about 98 million light years away from us, so essentially in our own supercluster, but definitely not very close. And it's definitely not part of that other cluster the scientists were trying to study. In this case, it just happened to be in the same location as the cluster itself, but obviously in front of it. And what's somewhat intriguing about this galaxy is that, unlike other dwarf galaxies or unlike other similar UDGs, this one seems to be really quiet, or it's quiescent. In other words, it possesses no star formation activity and remained this way for at least 1 billion years. And though it might not sound unusual at first, it's unusual for one single reason. All isolated galaxies usually show at least some sort of a star formation. We've actually discussed at least six of them very close to the Milky Way galaxy in the so-called local void, and even though those galaxies do not possess any partners, they all have a lot of star formation. It's actually believed to be a result of very large deposits of gas that's usually present around these galaxies, forcing star formation as these galaxies travel across space. You can learn more about this in one of the videos in the description. But this isolated galaxy was completely quiet, and all of the stars here were actually surprisingly old. And this is actually the other exciting discovery from this galaxy. The researchers were able to identify quite a lot of individual stars, even though they're really far away, once again almost 100 million light years away from us, making these some of the most distant stars we've seen without gravitational lensing. And as you can see from this image, there seems to be quite a few. Now in total, there are not that many stars here, possibly around 100 million, compared to for example 3 to 400 billion in the Milky Way galaxy, but being able to see individual objects is really impressive. And all of these specific stars are really exciting because these are what's known as RGB stars, or to be more exact, a type of star is known as tip of the red giant branch. Basically, main sequence stars that have now finished their main transition, burned all of their hydrogen, and are about to start helium fusion. And interestingly, all of these stars are known to possess almost exactly the same helium core, approximately half the solar mass. And as a result, they all produce very, very similar luminosity and even similar temperature. Their luminosity is usually about 2700 luminosities of the sun. And that means that we can use them to measure distances, which is exactly what was done in this case. And that's how we know how distant this galaxy is, making this an even more exciting discovery. As a matter of fact, our sun is also going to become one of these stars in possibly about 5 billion years from now, and it's going to become approximately 2800 times more luminous. And so in essence, these are sort of like future suns. But this also obviously allows us to measure the overall age of stars in this galaxy, with the scientists eventually discovering that most of the stars here seem to be really old. As a matter of fact, this galaxy has not formed any new stars in at least a billion years. As if something shut down the star formation approximately a billion years ago. It also does not seem to emit any ultraviolet radiation, which is often emitted by young stars, and does not produce any other additional emissions indicating star formation, suggesting that something killed this galaxy. 
And that's really where the mystery starts. There's no indication or sign or any kind of a hint of what did this and how this happened. Once again, most isolated galaxies, and even most dwarf galaxies, will at least have some star production somewhere. This one doesn't. Which brings us to the next question. What killed it? And generally there are maybe two major ways to kill the galaxy. One is through a galactic collision, where basically the much more massive galaxy tidally strips the gas from the smaller galaxy, leaving nothing inside and giving it nothing to produce stars. But this also normally disrupts the shape of the smaller galaxy, either stretching it or producing a visual tidal disruption we can normally see somehow. This one seems to be pristine, with no deformations, no stretching. There also seem to be no neighbors, no additional galaxies nearby, and no major galaxies it seems to be orbiting. It generally seems to be quite alone, with further observations looking at its overall velocity, suggesting that it seems to be cruising along empty space with nothing disturbing it in the process. Which obviously means that something else must have stopped star formation. But if not tidal stripping, and if not some kind of a passage of a galaxy that would force ram pressure stripping, what can it be? Well, the other major way to kill galaxies is through powerful emissions from central black holes. A supermassive black hole in the center can produce powerful enough winds that will strip a galaxy of the gas, turning it quiescent. But those galaxies will usually also possess very different shapes, not to mention signs of jets and possibly signs of gas around the galaxy that would be forming different types of emissions. Yet again, this galaxy seems to be undisturbed and it also seems to have nothing in the center producing any major emissions. Even if such a massive black hole was now quiet, we would still see something. Yet nothing is seen here. And so now the researchers think that maybe it's some kind of a new mechanism that seems to sometimes completely turn off star activity in various galaxies. It could be some kind of a feedback mechanism, possibly based on various large stars forming really powerful wind-like emissions without any kind of a black hole. And so some of these most massive stars would produce very powerful supernova that would basically blow the gas away from the galaxy, eventually spreading it so thin that no star formation is possible again. Which gives us at least one explanation for now on what's happening here. But because this is such a new discovery, at the moment we have no idea what's going on and why this unusual isolated galaxy seems to possess features that we've never seen before in similar galaxies. Based on current models of galactic evolution, technically this shouldn't be possible. This galaxy should still be forming stars, but at a much, much slower rate. And so whatever killed this galaxy, that's I guess the new mystery for detective James Webb. Definitely making this a really exciting discovery for scientists studying galactic evolution and for researchers trying to understand how galaxies evolve over time, making this a perfect candidate for future studies. And more intriguingly, highlighting the power of the James Webb Space Telescope once again. Being able to see these previously invisible galaxies is absolutely mind-blowing, and it of course means that we're going to be seeing more of these in years to come. More mysteries, more things to talk about, more videos to make. And so once we know more, we'll come back and talk more about this in some of the future videos. Until then, check out some of the previous videos on previous unusual galaxies discovered by James Webb in one of the videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt with a James Webb on it in the description below. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.